You are deliberately eluding my train of thought. No, I'm subtly asking you to go to bed with me. Before I go meet Paul Newman. Oh. Now, now you have every right to say no. I can't guarantee an absolute equality of experience. Okay, I can take care of myself. Thanks. <laughs> well, you've got the lingo down, kiddo. The... Pretty soon we're burning bras. Maybe I will go hog wild. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Are you a virgin? Excuse me? If you choose to accept this mission, I'll find out one way or the other. Okay. That's natural practice. <laughs> Why do you cover your mouth when you talk about sex? Hygiene. <laughs> I told you. What? You are a serious good person. And I'm honored. Maybe you'll think fondly on all of this in some Proustian haze when you're 35 and picking up your daughter from ethical culture school before you escort her to cello class. And then dinner with Dad, the noted psychiatrist and Miro poster collector. No, I think I'll be too busy torching lingerie. Well, maybe I'll remember all of this when I'm 35, and watching my son's performance as Johnny Appleseed. <laughs> maybe I'll look at my wife, who puts up with me and flash on when I was the editor of a crackpot liberal newspaper and thought that I could fall in love with Heidi Holland canvassing art historian in that first snowy night in Manchester, New Hampshire in 1967. Are you, um, guarding the chips? I trust them. <laughs>
bad thing? Is it, is that not allowed anymore? And so what if I did meet her, okay? Is that, is that, is that so wrong? Right, right, crucify me, I needed her. I don't want to be by myself. I'm by myself, I feel like I'm going out of my mind. I do, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm not gonna make it to the next 10 seconds. I don't know who I am. I don't know where I'm going, and I wish I had never been born. And not only that, but my hair is falling out, and that really sucks.